that's all around game as a team right there? Uh, you know, you could say that. Uh, there's a lot of really good football tonight. Um, you know, some mistakes. You know, you always you always want to limit the mistakes. But I think, you know, as far as a complete game, you know, that was probably the least mistakes uh, that we've had all season. The Civil War. I mean, you've never, you've never beat the Ducks, and they lost tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it, it was it was kind of, uh, you know, I, I, re- I really haven't thought about it. You know, I just saw it, you know, it just was like, you know, all right, you know, it's still it's still a civil war. You know, it's still going to be, you know, a big game, you know, whether they won or lost, you know, it, it was still going to be, you know, a prior base game of the season. And so, you know, we're definitely excited about it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a crazy week and uh, we're going to prepare, prepare, you know, our best. Did you know on the sideline or did you not know? Um, you know, I didn't see the, the score up on the, the thing, and I just heard the crowd cheering. And, and then I asked one of the players what happened, and he said uh, it, was, it was actually 17-14 in overtime. So I didn't know the game was, was done yet, and I probably didn't know until um, later on in the game that they actually had lost. And so uh, you know, I try not to pay too much attention to that type of stuff during the game. But, uh, you know, that's, you know uh, Stanford's a good team. So uh, we're, we're going to see the tape and, and see where they're vulnerable at. Jordan, even after you guys lost to Stanford, Uh, you could say that, you know, but we always we always look at it as take one game at a time. Like, you know, Cal's in the way, and so you know they're trying to take take away from us. You know, they, this was their last game of the season; they had nothing to lose at all, and so they they were gonna we we figured they were gonna come out with gimmicks, tricks, and and you know um, and do everything they can to win. And so you know, early on, you know, I told the guys take their will early because if if we took it early, then you know there was no coming back. You know, because their last game of the season, they're not it's raining. You could tell that they just didn't want to play, um, you know, once once we stepped on their throats. And so, uh, you know, it's, it, was, it was definitely a good win for us, and it definitely gives us some good momentum coming into Oregon. What did you touch on with Reed as far as the offense being the turnovers that you guys forced on defense and the points? I mean, for you guys in the sideline, what are you guys saying to each other? That's big. That's always big. You know, whenever your offense can score off of uh, turnovers, um, it's always big. It may, it, I mean, you always want turnovers on defense, but it makes you more hungry for for turnovers, so that you gives your offense back the ball. Jordan, as a defense, how much of a factor is it playing with the lead? You know, you got to be a little more aggressive, a little more after the ball. Yeah, I mean, that's that's exactly it. You know, when you're playing with the lead, you're playing, um, you know, your confidence is high. You know, you're playing a lot more aggressive. Um, <clears throat> and as, I mean, as far as you know, it's, it's not too much of a difference. But I mean, playing from the high, and, you know, you're always. You're always kind of second guessing yourself sometimes, and so when you're definitely playing ahead, you know it's always it's always good. Nice to finally have a game like this where it's not coming down to the very end. Oh yeah, you know I was happy to see our twos and threes get in there and, and making some plays, and so that's always good because you know those guys they work just as hard as we do throughout the week uh, in preparation. So Jordan, talk about how you guys you have all season been able to bounce back after adversity, but also keep one game at a time and not look ahead. How you know who's kept you? Is that Coach Riley? Is that you guys? Yes, I mean it's Coach Riley. It's us. You know we understand. You know, the game after is not going to mean any, as much if you don't win the game in front of you. And so that's that's kind of how we've been looking at it. You know, every week it's a one game season, and uh, you know we're pre- we're going to prepare and not look at ahead at Oregon, not look ahead at you know Nickel State right now. You know, just saying um, we're looking for a one game season, and that's how we've looked at it all 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 year. Oh, I mean, you obviously, uh, every, I feel like throughout the year, you always think about that game. You're always just like, you know, well, we can play with these guys. You see them play on TV, and it's not, I mean, they're another football team. They lace on their shoes just like we do, and it's not like they're an impossible team to, you know, stop or anything like that. You just have to be a Simon Sound, and I mean, we definitely think that we have a chance to beat them, um, and especially, you know, with Stanford beating them last week, um, or uh, tonight, I'm sorry, and you know, we're going to be able to look at that tape and see exactly what they did and, and find out ways to stop them. How does it feel to be the team going into 8-2 and two rather than the team going from 3-8 to 3-9? Like no, it feels a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it feels a lot better. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah. Come on up, Toronto.